This election day, one referendum asking for a small tax increase is causing a big stir in the community. The Champaign County Facilities Tax is a proposed quarter cent sales tax that would raise money for a slew of renovations for county facilities. In the current action plan, the revenue would be used for deferred maintenance, renovation of the county jail, replacement of the sheriff's office, a new community behavioral health center, repairs to the county nursing home, and other functions, such as a rehaul of the county's information technology systems and a relocation of county offices to downtown Urbana. County Administrator Rick Snyder developed the action plan. He says the tax would cost the median household about $18.35 per year. It doesn't include necessities like food, medicine, and title vehicles that would create a burden on lower income families. Food, uh, repairs for things like uh, the courthouse, for the uh, sheriff's office, um, for the nursing home, basically all the facilities that are used to deliver services to the public. The most vocal criticism of the plan comes from those who see it as a jail tax. The current action plan would renovate and expand the county's satellite jail in East Urbana while this facility, a jail in downtown Urbana, currently remains closed. The group, Build Programs, Not Jails, has loudly opposed the tax increase. If we they knew, believe it would only add to the area's incarceration problem. One activist being says spent. the action plan And then for me the personally, I have a community. problem with a sales tax that has no contract with the community members. So if you can just ask for a pool of money and then change the plan, take away the plan, add to the plan, um, at will, after you've gotten that money, I have a problem with that. The group believes that the county needs to invest in alternatives to incarceration, such as mental health and detox facilities. The plan is expected to raise $48 million. It would expire after 12 years. In Urbana, I'm Chris Kennedy, UI7 News.